Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a sphericon. I got the question directly from you, how to model and how to reuse the, some surface modeling or how to create some round feature at the end. So let's try, I will try to reuse some dimension from this picture and let's have a look. Yep, so let's start with new 3D model. And as you know, we can start directly work with the surface modeling. So I will try to reuse the internal dimension R18 and I will create a revolve feature. And what is necessary to do, I'd like to have some central line here. So my line, which I will create, will be symmetrical directly and specify some dimensions and over there will be 18. Yep center line for the revolve feature and if I will finish the system will tell me that the system will transform as a surface. We would like to use only half of the model so 180 degree and confirm. So first part is here and then also we need to create another one. So you can create another revolve feature but I like to use the copy and special paste special functionality and over here we will reuse the apply, move and rotate. So what does it mean? In the transformation you can see that I can transform directly to rotate and I like to rotate around the coordinate system and only 90 degree for example. And as the new move also rotate around the y axis for 180 degree. The system will spin the model and we will get what we really need. Now in the sketch we can have a look here, it's a radius R25, yeah, this one, so we will make a connection and if we will create a surface modeling, the object will be based on the curve. So we will create a curve simply and if the system will take, select for you the tangency, you need to create the arc one more time and don't go the perpendicular, but on the another way and then you can set your custom dimensions and values for the arc and will be not tangent. Dimension will be 25 and I don't want to create four times. So simple and easy we can reuse by a mirror feature and with control button you can use the mirror feature on the opposite side. Perfect. So we will confirm we have all necessary curves and information what we have and need and and if we will check the model, we can directly start to create base shape. I will go here. So we would like to create this top surface here. We can use the boundary blend and with boundary blend feature, we will select two curves with the control button. And then also we have to select the second direction. And in the second direction, we would like to reuse the additional curves. What does it mean? The system will follow the first direction and then second direction and the shape what you get is right now as you need. You can create a boundary blend on the opposite direction also. Yeah, so simple and easy boundary blend from with control selection and the second direction will be here. Or we can reuse the mirror feature. So doesn't matter we can create a additional boundary blend and last one we can simple mirror so what does it mean you will select the feature use the mirror feature use the mirror plane confirm and everything is here perfect so it's only up to you how you would like to create the mirror geometry what we need to do is specify some um, holes here as you can see here so we will specify some dimension i will try to remember 8 8.6 and angle is 55 so let's have a look what does it mean we would like to make a projection of the curves on the surfaces so i will create on the middle plane necessary shape and we can reuse the existing palette 
and from the existing palette I will reuse the polygon like this and what is great that you can spin it a little bit as you want also you can specify the size over here it's easy you can confirm but what I like to reuse is the center line because I need a dimension for 55 degree and also I'd like to set up the perpendicularity here so I will show you that if I will select the perpendicularity between new center line and existing edge it's fine and what for what is it good if I will now the move okay we can change the some dimensions so for example this one will be 8 what I remember 3.6 delete and this size will be 8 we can lock dimensions because I'd like to move it a little bit and also this dimension will be 55 perfect and some additional dimension what I remember is 8.6 yeah 8.6 is to the end if you would like to create the dimension between endpoints you can really easy create a point here and then dimension between this new point and necessary dimension 8.6 okay great and this dimension 55 is from the opposite direction so we have to really select this dimension and will be 55 now I think that everything is specified and we can confirm this sketch and we can try to use the pattern feature for this sketch and pattern value will be 55 degree we have to go the opposite direction so we will use the minus 55 and for example three times pattern feature is working well yep now we would like to make the projection of these curves so simple and easy if you will select the control 5 you will see the object with the wireframe and what we would like to do is the project these sketches to the surface if you would like to make the projection simple we can select the project and what we would like to do is project the chain with the control button I will select three change and surface will be top surface and direction will be from the vertical datum plane direction is along direction or normal to surface so you can specify how it will be looks like so try to check what is suitable for you and come from OK so top curves are created also we would like to do the same on the bottom so I will project and we will project the chain from these three middle curves to bottom surface and from the vertical plane on the opposite direction and come from OK if I will select Control 2 the system will show me again necessary object in wireframe no wireframe shaded with edges yeah now what we would like to do is the trim surface based on these curves so let's have a look we can select the surface use the trim functionality and with the trim you need to select the trimming curve you can see that everything works fine reference are okay so I can confirm middle button or green button and everything is as needed I can try to create a pattern feature let's see it will be works and I see that system doesn't understand the reference pattern so I have to do it six times yes yeah, so again surface trim and with the right mouse button I can select what I want and middle button for the confirmation again surface trim and necessary edges perfect opposite direction also and will be great so surface and trim with curve if you will select the opposite side you can select the definition and arrow can be changed also for the trimming and with the right mouse button we can select what we want and last but not least trim and opposite direction perfect the shape is almost ready 
we can have a look on the picture. We have all necessary holes created based on the dimensions and also the main shape. What we miss that now everything is based on the curves. So we can hide some curves and will be not visible anymore. And also maybe this pattern can be hidden. So nothing is visible or, or what is not necessary. Fine. I'd like to make a merge of all existing surfaces. Best practice is if you will select the quilt and you will specify all necessary quilts what you would like to merge. Yeah, everything is green. So you can simply select the merge functionality and confirm middle button. And what does it mean? Now we have a one common quilt. And if you will select this quilt, then is the system allowed to you select and create a flyout menu and thickness. And you would like to specify thickness two millimeters. Yes, so now everything looks good and our object is ready. We will check how it looks like. We can use the view and use the section view and have a look. Perfect. The thickness is working well and shape is done as needed. Let's continue. Final shape will be based on this triangle and missing triangles. So we will really easy reuse the revolve feature and necessary sketch plane. And if you will select that you would like to see the clip model, you know where you can create the necessary shape. So now I will go here and simply we will create necessary triangle shape. Dimensions is 90 degree. Everything is defined. If this size is 10, then this one is the 5 as needed. We can come from OK. Uh, what I miss is the axis of revolution. So again, go back to the sketch and we will create center line. And if I will finish, we can check and set that it will be 180 and we will specify the correct size. First shape is done. <coughs> we can continue on the opposite side. So let's have a look here and create also revolve feature. And what I see that we have to go the opposite direction. It's not problem. We can go to sketch setup and we will flip the model and then we will see everything as needed. So now we have also good orientation. We will create the same triangle with the same dimensions as needed. 90 degree. Center line is necessary. And if we will finish again, we can set 180 degree and opposite direction. Right. So our base shape is ready. So if you will confirm and check, ah, you see, I mix something here. Let's have a look. What was the problem with the previous sketch? Edit definition. Seems that I am, I missed center line. So let's have a look if I will repair the center line. It, everything works fine. Now it's better. OK, great. So last but not least is to create a round feature. So as you can see here, we have to create a round feature around here. And what I have found that if you will create a round feature on this short edge, and for example, 0 0.5, so we have to do it five, four times. Yeah. And then you will create the round feature specified as with the value 2 for all necessary edges. Then the round feature will be created properly. I would like to create edges quickly without a preview, so you can select no preview. And then really easy with the control button, you can select all necessary edges. And <coughs> it 
if you do not have the preview, the system do not calculate and you can select only necessary edges. And at the end, you know that everything is as you need. You can confirm OK. And system will create necessary round feature or all selected edges as requested. Over here, it was quick example how to create the model based on the surface modeling. We have reused the boundary blend feature, thickness, project, trim, merge, and at the end, some round functionality. Thank you again for your question. Take care and bye bye. Vladimir.